Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to connect report viewer to my actual. It means that I want to uh, use my report viewer to pull the data from my actual in order to do the report and design what I want. Okay, so in this case I use Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. Okay, so it will apply only this version and another version you will need to hire library. Okay, so with this version, you need to install three component here. The first one you need to download my actual connector nets version 6.9.8. Okay, you download it and install and in here second you can you need to download my actual for visual studio version 1.2.3 and install it and the last one you need to add the my actual .data .dl to your project in reference it means that you go to your project and add click add add reference and add the file into the project so note that if you use higher higher version i mean higher version higher version of visual studio like you use uh, visual studio uh, 19 or 2019 or 17 you need to uh, install the higher version of my actual connector net and my actual for visual studio so you need to need you need to install higher okay so in this case i just working on 2013 and the last one after you install you need to restart your pc okay so Let's go to. I show you how to download all of this. Okay, so I go to. Okay, I copy this. Copy this, and go to uh, Google and just click into it. And you click on this. In here is the latter version. The latter version it, it will work for Visual Studio later version 2 so in this case I need the old version so you click on Active okay again you click on the Active here and you find the version you want let me check in this case I need 6.9.8 so let 6.9 scroll it down 6.9.8 you select on it you click install it so right click download it okay, let me find it okay it's come here let me clear the old download yes yes click something okay here's my Here's my download file, and one more. I need to download my actual for Visual Studio. I copy it. You to the, you go to the Google and enter it. You can see here. Yeah, click on it, and here is the the latest version. But I did not want this. I just get old version. You click on Achieve again and you find the version that you want. 1.2.3. Okay. Do this. Let me check again. One. Okay. That's right. That's right. Now download it. Okay. Here is it's calm. Okay. So you need to install all of, all of this. In this case, 
I have installed in my PC. Let me check if it's correct the version or not. Click on controller and go to program, program picture. Let me scroll down. So here is my installation. Okay, it have already in my PC. So you need to install it by yourself. Okay, and so after you install, you need to restart your PC. Don't forget, you need to restart. Click on this and restart your PC. Okay. So now let's after you start restart your PC, you can go to your Visual. Yeah, click on it, and you create the projects, new projects. Okay, it's so my project. It's okay. The first one you need to do on your project, you need to add reference. Okay, number three here you add the reference myshow.data.dl. So how? So where is the location of the file? Okay, let me show you. You just click on here. You go to add a reference. Yeah. I just clear this one. I need the new. Okay. So browse it. You can go browse it and go to drive it. Program file here. You find my actual. Let me try here. Yeah. In this one, you go to my actual connector net. Click on it. You go to assemblies. You go to V 4.5. Click on it. And you find my actual data DLL. Click on it. Add it. Okay. That's right. So let me check in the property that is the correct. Oh, okay, here it can. So let me reveal it. And then I go to my form, I add the. So we, I add the report viewer here. And then I okay dot parent refine it. And then you select on report viewers. You click on this. This time you go to design new report. You click next. Okay, that is set next. You need to create the connection. Click on new. On the data source, you need to change it. You click on change. You will see my actual database. Select on here. OK. My server name is localhost. So I need to put localhost. Here the server name. But in this case, I use localhost. And my user is root. The password is empty. If you have the password, you can input it. But my user here did not have the password. So lay on this. Okay, let me start my server. My actual server. Click Control Panel. Start it. Okay. So let me refresh again. Okay, you will see here. Here is my inventory. Here is my database. I choose inventory database. You can take the connection. Click on it. Okay, accept. Okay, you click OK here. Next. Sorry, cancel it. Okay, here's. Don't forget, when you create the connection, it will occur in here. So you need to choose here, local hall inventory. Next. Next. Select here. 
checks here is the table you can choose source from you from store procedure from function in here i choose directly to the table so and you can change the data set name yes but in here i just put in default but you have many report you need to change it so i click on finish next here is the field name in the table i select all and i drag it to drop down in value here so click snag next finish that is my report you can design it and customize it by yourself so i go to my form again i select on report viewer click on this choose the report you just click on this and choose the report one here is the report name that we have created let me check you click on this okay so go to form select on this click choose report that's right okay so now let's test together start debug okay that's fine here is the data from my actual let me check in local host you go to here inventory customer uh, you can see here is elect Danish elect Danish okay so that's all for my presentation about report viewer with my actual and the next video will be show you how to customize the the data here you can search by name or something okay so thank you for watching